What's up, what's up everybody? The Mark Weber here, dub them ease, and we are back for more prediction videos for the NFL. We did our off-season reviews, we talked about the previews for every single division, but here we are doing our actual predictions, looking at the schedule and saying how many wins and losses every team's going to have. This time it's the LA Rams, and I'm excited to talk about this team because statistically uh, they didn't look that great. But, you know, you have a lot of a lot of new things to get excited about, whether it's on the coaching staff, whether it's having Jared Goff actually have the opportunity to, you know, start after it. You, you thought, we got this new quarterback, where is he? Uh, but new tight end, new wide receiver, getting some uh, additions on the defense. There was a lot to, uh, a lot of new things to get excited about. So let's dive into this season and let's see what we have. The start of it is going to be a little rough because you're going to play the Colts and you're going to play the Redskins. And I like both these teams. They're very high-powered offenses, and I think that this uh, defense for the Rams can certainly struggle against that a little bit. Uh, but against the 49ers, I mean, I do not have much hope for the 49ers. I think that the Rams are a better team, and even away, I'm going to give that one to the Rams. Now, moving forward, you know, week four, Cowboys... I'm sorry, it's just too good of a team. It's going to be way too hard to kind of kind of get over that hurdle. Uh, I don't believe in that one. But the good thing is you're going to play week five, the Seattle Seahawks. And the Rams always steal one from the Seattle Seahawks. And I don't think that there's much different this time. Uh, they always play the division tough. And I think that they can win the home game because they can always steal one. Now, this week six matchup is kind of tough for me because we had the Rams, we had the Jaguars, and this is one of those times where the Jaguars look so good on paper, I don't know how they're going to be uh, in real life, and that's kind of tough for me. I'm leaning towards giving it to the Rams, but that home game advantage is there for the Jaguars, of course, but I'm going to lean towards it. I'm going to give it to you Rams fans out there. I'm going to give you this win uh, because I think... You got a little bit of an edge over this team that continually disappoints. But to move forward, week seven against the Cardinals. The Cardinals were not that good last year. And this is an aging team, and Carson Palmer is going to be really the big test of how it's going to be this year. But I think that you can win the home game. So I'm going to give you another win right there. Week eight's your bye, so let's move forward. Week nine, I'm sorry, Giants are too good coming off of the bye, and you guys are as well, but I, I think that this Giants team is just going to be way too high-powered. I don't know if Jared Goff and the defense can keep up. Uh, Texans, I love the Texans this year, so I'm not going to give that one to you. Vikings, that's going to be a loss. Um, I like that team as well, and I don't expect that huge downfall that they had at the end of last year. But Week 12, at home against the Saints, I really do like the Saints quite a bit. I like Adrian Peterson's addition here, um, and I think that they can actually you know be a good team which is a surprise because they haven't been very good lately but the rams you have an opportunity i'm not saying it's a guaranteed loss but i'm going to give it to the saints cardinals the home game they're going to win it if you've seen any of these other predictions you know i like the eagles quite a bit so i'm going to give them the week 14 game against the rams seahawks will win their home game titans once again really like the titans uh so give them the home game and then the 49ers i got you guys for the sweep so you'll win that one um, when it comes down to, to this team, I mean, I don't see it as super low floor. Five wins is the lowest I see this team going. But I can see this team getting their way up to seven, possibly even eight, if some of these start to go the other way. The big thing here is going to be Jared Goff. How is he going to do? How is he going to perform? Is he ready? Because a lot of people were saying that it took too long for him to get the playbook, and he wasn't really given the opportunity. Now he's got a whole new... A uh, new whole new system and everything to learn here. So that's going to be important, but I like the pieces. I like especially the pieces on defense. If Jared Goff performs the way that a number one overall pick should be, then this is going to be a pretty, pretty good year for you. Something to get excited about before the following year where you can start to make your splash. Uh, I'm leaning towards probably five or six wins, but let me know what you guys think down below. Which games are they going to win? Which games are they going to lose? How's Jared Goff going to do? And, you know, really it comes down to that record. So let me know if I'm completely off or if I'm right on target. Check out all of our other videos. Uh, make sure you hit that sub button so that way you know when all the other predictions are up and everything we're talking about is we're getting close to the season. Uh, if you like the prediction, give me that thumbs up and let me know what you think below. 
But I'll see you guys again soon when we do even more predictions for the NFL season.